Romeim, Romans 8. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Yahusha HaMashiach, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Ruach. For the Torah of the Ruach, Chaim, in Yahusha HaMashiach, has made me free from the instruction of sin and death. For what was impossible under the Torah for the flesh to do, Yahuwah did in sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the Torah might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Ruach. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Ruach, the things of the Ruach. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yah, for it is not subject to the Torah of Yahuwah, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please Yah, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the Ruach. If so be that the Ruach, Yahuwah, dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Ruach, Hamashiach, he is not his. And if Hamashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the Ruach is life because of righteousness. But if the Ruach of him that raised up Yahusha from the dead dwell in you. He that raised up Hamashiach from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Ruach that dwells in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Ruach do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Ruach, Yahuwah, they are the sons of Yahuwah. For ye have not received the Ruach of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the Ruach, Aimotz, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Ruach itself bears witness with our Ruach that we are the children of Yah. And if children then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh. For we know that the whole creation groans and travails in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also. We have the first fruits of the Ruach. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption, to wit, the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man sees, why does he yet hope for? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Ruach also helps our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Ruach itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Ruach, because he makes intercession for the Kodeshim, according to the will of Yah. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahuwah, 
to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom hath he did foreknow, he also did predetermine to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predetermine, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If Yah be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahuwah's elect? It is Yah that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Yahusha HaMashiach that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of Yah, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of HaMashiach? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yah, which is in Yah Hucha HaMashiach, our Adonai.